guess what, everybody? New addition in the studio. You know ooh, why? Ooh, what? Because what Thierry Henry wants. Thierry oh! Henry gets. That's right. Is it Thierry? Yes. What were you using this for, Thierry? I actually never asked for as for a screen, but never mind. <laughs> Thank you. And you went. How did you like it? Yes. Anyway, I, I, it was fantastic. It's nice, huh? You better be able to work it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, so basically what it is, is we, we thought about, since Kate, you said I, I saw it, no, we thought about all the time, guys, we always talk about how the team is, but defensively, right from the start, we always, always show a team in their defensive shape. So Real Madrid, four, three, one, two. But there is another part of the game that when you have the ball, Real Madrid is never in a four, three, one, two when they are on the ball. Are you, as you're gonna see here, when they are on the ball, they go into a two, three, five. And why is that? Because obviously you need to have the width occupied. Bellingham usually take advantage of the run of the two nines. Carvajal is on the other side, but I call those guys the police officers. Those guys, Cabavinga. So let's say if the ball is on this side, Modric will come, Valverde, those two guys will have to deal with the long balls. So what you're trying to do is called offensive balance. You're trying to stop the counter right from the start, so the instead the of having it after. The first thing as a coach, would it be to be setting up like this yes. to stop the counter attack or to get five players Both. in the attack? Both, because you, you're trying to make sure that you have body forwards, especially when you're Real Madrid. You need to throw body forwards. How are you going to find space? You need to have guys in between the line, especially him. Guys that are going to occupy the width of the field if you have a switch the ball. But they need to have guys also to play straight away, the two nines. But after that, if you lose the ball, those five guys are dead. Do, do you think they're using this system because of Bellingham? I think that obviously not having a, maybe a proper nine, having Bellingham coming in, asking them to make those runs early on the outside, the Venice Junior or Rodrigo, wherever they, they're going to be on the side. But what it is, is they have three sixes under to make sure that they can stop the counter, especially Kamavinga, you recycle the ball, and you stop the counter. Do, I'll show do, you. Do you prefer that rather than, do you prefer the, the two at the back and yeah. three in front? Because a lot of teams will do three at the back, defenders, maybe one full back gets involved and they'd have two in midfield. I, I, I'd, I'd, rather, I'd rather have those guys here and stop on the side and they deal with, because when you're in that, on, on, in that shape, sometimes you can be open on the outside if they ever play through you. Mm. You understand what I mean? So I, I'll, I'll, I'll try to show you what, Arsenal does also. This is Arsenal. Real Madrid, four, three, one, two. This is Arsenal. I think Jorginho will play inside. Rice might be higher to go and put pressure. This is their shape when they, when they defend, right? We all know that. Same. It's gonna be their shape now when they attack. Is it gonna be Jorginho? I don't think so high. It's gonna be Rice that will be able to participate. But the, on the contrary of Real Madrid, Instead of having three sixes under, their full back goes inside. And before we stay too long here, I'll show you exactly how it looks on the screen. This is them, okay? Dichenko is on the ball. I'm gonna press, pause in and around. Here, and you can see already the shape. You have your two tens, obviously two tens here, and there the nine, that's the shape. And you have your guys, obviously, defending. If you ever lose the ball, but they're also building at the same time. So if you ever lose the ball, you're still in a good shape to stop the counter. Zichenko is going to go, obviously, on the ball. He's going, as you can see him here. Odegaard oh, gets the ball. Now, I'm going to press pause, and I'm going to invite you to stay with this man. So follow this man. His job is to make sure that he's going to go as tight as possible to his striker to make sure then if we don't know what's going to happen, right? Sorted. Sorted. He can go here. He's also at the edge of the box to try to get it. Here the same. Those guys are dealing with the strikers. That's what we talk about when we talk about offensive balance. Whatever happens, you have one, two, three, four, five. Dichenko, you will see, will step out of it at the end. On the goal. But look at the position. They scored, but if Arsenal didn't score, they were well organized. 
apart if that guy gets the ball and, he, and they go into a run. So it's actually still the same setup, but just with different players. That's exactly what it is. Two, three, five. Two different shapes. Four, three, one, two, Madrid. And Arsenal do it in the four, one, two, three. But on the ball, it's a two, three, five. Because you need to have the offensive balance to make sure that we can attack through bodies forward, but you're in position also to stop the counter. Mm. Now look at Real Madrid and now they do it. Same, I'm going to try to pose at the right time. Kamavinga here, you're going to see. Going wide, I'm going to pose at the right time. You can already see the shape here, the two, three, five. It is not that clear yet. It is not that clear. You, you can see them building. They're almost going to a, a three, two because you have two strikers. You need to beat the line. And now suddenly, same. You have the width occupied. You have your 2-9 that holds the light of the 4. And you have your 10 that's trying to receive the ball behind the line of the 4 of Napoli with the 2. But if you ever lose the ball, you need to be in a situation that you can stop a counter. And they are. Bellingham rarely, rarely, this is Bellingham, rarely comes and asks for the ball here. Apart if there is a hole in their line, as we saw on the goal when Anguissa went. We need to try to, we, I mean Real Madrid needs to find to, find the players there because if you ever find them there it's a one two three four five v four is on it, the ball is it fair that almost every top team now i would say in european football is looking to get a front five not necessarily with the same players you're talking about the fullbacks being high sometimes if, if that's a pep Guardiola team it's the wingers there so the actual setup's the same it's just different players in different positions mm. and the slight difference might be whether you actually start with the, yes. almost a back three and two in front or whether you have a two and a three in front whether if it's a two of a three of a three of a two you need to have that balance right because you all know when you play against a good team, you often sometimes don't go and put pressure. So players need to be between the lines like Bellingham and you, to, you need to have the width occupied if you ever need to switch yeah. the ball. But you cannot also be too open because that's what they want. So you need to find the right balance. It's a two, three, five, three, two, five, however you want to call it. But that's what big teams try to do. It doesn't matter what shape they have when they defend. More often than not, they're in that shape. City sometimes are in that shape too, in that, in that two, three, five. Thierry, absolutely Master fantastic. Class. So good. What Thierry wants, Thierry gets. Okay. <laughs> Back to you. That's it. What else does Thierry want? What else can we get in this studio? Mm -hmm.